The filter on it and everything. <laughs> you know what it is. The double it's works so hard, but I'm Alice sorry. works harder. Chris <laughs> Jenner works hard, but Alice works harder. <laughs> Uh, my Deutsch <laughs> when you use Duolingo for one day. Entschuldigung. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Berlin day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let's do Dora Congo. How does how does she say? Like, can you say? Can you say una manzana? Una manzana! I can hear you. Una <laughs> manzana! <laughs> Of uh, once upon a time, I was in Berlin. <laughs> Yay! So the weather is super bad. It's raining the entire day. We were gonna do the tours today, but you know the weather sucks. So we decided to dedicate this day for a museum. So we're inside and we're warm. And this is Altus Museum, otherwise known as the History Museum, and it's situated on a museum island, which is a pretty cool thing. There's like seven or uh, maybe even more museums. And this is a Berlin Cathedral for Berlin Church. Super impressive, built in Trip to Berlin, the weather was absolutely amazing. We got really lucky with that. 
We did all the touristy things. I saw a bunch of Russian flags that made me super, super happy. We saw the Brandenburg Gate, checked out the Soviet Soldier Memorial. I even cried a little. And we also visited the Holocaust Memorial, otherwise known as the Memorial to the Martyred Jews of Europe, which was absolutely amazing. It is designed by an architect, Peter Eisenman, and engineer, Bo Happold, and it consists of 19,000 square meter site covered with 2,711 concrete slabs arranged in a grid pattern on a sloping field. There are many different interpretations to this memorial, but the author said that it's supposed to represent an order system that has lost touch with human reason. I really, really enjoyed the design and even came up with some of the theories on my own. Then we went down to the Potsdam Platz and went to the Sony Center, which also had a beautiful design. Please, oh no, it was actually not that bad. Okay, so we went to the film and TV museum. Yep, it, it was, was pretty cool. Awesome. It was like in the year 3000. Yeah. There were so many mirrors and it's like you were entering like 10 different dimensions at the same time. Because you look up and you see yourself and you look down and you see yourself looking at yourself and it's just like too many things going yeah. on. Like, yeah, unfortunately you were not allowed to film or take photos of any kind. So it's like, we can't show you. But if you ever come to Berlin, definitely like yeah. recommend to go it's not actually that famous there were like literally nobody in here right yeah, yeah. Literally. but like it's I definitely recommend to go it's so cool mm. and it's like you basically just go through like the entire history of film throughout Germany like you look at popular culture propaganda and television and it's just really like educational but also really cool to look at like everything's so well curated yes the curation was yeah. insane like the design of the museum as well super awesome like 10 out of 10 Alice's recommend <laughs> to go and it was only five euros I'm geeking that was the best experience of my life <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this happy I love Berlin, I want to die here. Um, please bury me next to the remains of my land <laughs> Where is it? Yes. By the way, just wanted to let you all know that like 90% of this vlog was filmed by Chisa over there. So huge shout out to her. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you follow her on Instagram and support her because she's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. After that, we decided to go ahead and look at the Checkpoint Charlie. We all noticed how amazing Berlin architecture is and how big of an impact countries that occupied Berlin affected the city. You could clearly see the change in said architecture. It's really funny because you feel like you're walking down the streets of Moscow and then you cross the road and BAM! You're in New York. <laughs> also, I have to say how convenient public transportation is. They have many buses, trams, underground, rail services, and etc. All the signs are doubled in English as well. And not only that, but also pretty much every single person we've talked to could speak English. People were really, really friendly. Later that day, we decided to go to the Berlin Wall Memorial and instead of actually going inside the museum, we stayed next to the wall and took a couple of photographs and just chilled, trying to absorb the vibes of the city. We also have some secret project that's gonna come out sometime soon, so stay tuned. What? Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> we have yet another conspiracy. So, we think that Germany is actually doesn't exist. And excuse me, did you build this? Excuse me, did you build this wall? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs>
On day 3 we decided to take it slow. We've seen pretty much everything we wanted to see by that point, so we decided to get some souvenirs and they even sell pieces of Berlin Wall, which I think is pretty cool. I saw a Russian embassy, there was also some activity next to the Brandenburg gates where you could write what you love on a post-it note and stick it on the biggest love sign. And then we decided to go to the East Side Gallery. However, my GPS betrayed me, so I got separated from the gang, but we reunited on the train quite shortly. Now, East Side Gallery is an open-air gallery which consists of a series of murals painted directly on a 1,316 meter long remnant of the Berlin Wall. It is a heritage-protected landmark and has about 105 paintings by artists from all over the world. If you follow my Instagram, I post a bunch of those works on my stories. I even got to see the famous skiz between Brezhnev and Honecker. It was awesome. Anyways. My trip to Berlin was unforgettable, I was really really impressed by the city and definitely recommend to visit if you get a chance. I'll give it 7 Alice's out of 10, but I definitely want to come back and see what else Berlin has to offer. Leave a comment if you have any questions, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you still haven't. i see you next Monday guys. This is it, this is it, she is it. <laughs> Oh my god, me too. Yes. I can't With do that. With Victoria Beckham pose. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn. laughs>